On a Monday night, Japan's Ministry of Finance or the Bank of Japan may have intervened in the forex market. Today, there is a public holiday in Japan, so it makes no sense to wait for comments from a policymakers now. Thus, the traders have to rely on in intuition and fundamental indicators of a market movement. The first and main sign of a Japan's intervention on a forex was the movement of the dollar-yen pair. At the same time, the economic calendar is empty today. During the Asian session today, the yen recovered from 160.17 to 154.50. That's more than a 3.5%. On the back of a such a sharp decline in the dollar-yen pair, a ripple effect began that weakened the dollar across the boat. Oddly, the Chinese yuan does not benefit from the greenback's weakness. On the contrary, the yuan has fallen by 2.1% since the beginning of the year under the pressure of a low yields and the outflow of a foreign investment from a flagging stock market. On a Monday, the Chinese currency was ready to test five months lows against the US dollar. The US dollar, after the turmoil caused by the yen, again easily rebounded against its rival currencies. The US dollar index measures the greenback strengths relative to its six major basket partners. And today, the dollar index was trading very close to its previous high of 106 points. The index is a trading today within the intraday candidate between 105.40 and 106.10 points. Despite the red indicator, the US dollar did not look defeated today. Moreover, the main drivers of its growth remain the late timing of the rate cuts by the Fed Reserve as well as the American economy, which is resistant to these high rates. Tomorrow, the U.S. Central Bank is opening its two-day policy meeting. It will end with a policy statement by the chairman on May 1. Several recent economic reports were not in as optimistic as forecasts had expected. In addition, inflation repression is tightening its grip over the U.S. economy. Investors had to revise their expectations for interest rates for this year in a more hawkish direction. How Jerome Powell views the current situation and its prospects will determine the reaction of the market. As for the stock market, Wall Street is trading higher today, and the main S&P 500 index posted its biggest weekly jump on a Friday since early November last year, and the index received support from U.S. high-tech giants as they released strong quarterly reports on the corporate earnings. Today, the main Wall Street index S&P 500 is trading again in the green range of 5,105 to 5,123 points in anticipation of the reports by the seven U.S. heavyweights. Commonly, when stocks fall, the U.S. dollar advances due to higher demand for safe haven assets. However, today the greenback was supported by news from the European Union. The indicator of economic sentiment in the eurozone declined by 0.6 points in April to 95.6. Markets expected its, um, it uh, to rise at 96.90 points. Interestingly, ECB policymaker Pierre Wunsch suddenly said today that the July rate cut is not a done deal. And this year, according to the official, the regulator is going to carry out at least two rate cuts, with the first of them in June. Differences in the timing of the first rate cut play in favor of the U.S. dollar, and traders continue to invest in the U.S. currency amid bullish fundamentals and technical factors. As a result, speculative long positions on the U.S. dollar against the yen, pound, sterling, Swiss franc, Canadian and Australian dollars continue to grow. Certainly, the greenback is rising against the euro in April. And today, the euro-dollar pay is struggling to keep growth above the critical level of 1.07. The instrument is trading in the intraday calendar of 1.0688 to 
to 1.0737. However, traders are cautious ahead of the release of the key economic reports in the Eurozone. Preliminary data on the GDP for the first quarter and the Consumer Price Index for April. They will be published on Tuesday. Preliminary German inflation data for April turned out to be mixed. For example, the annual Consumer Price Index, including volatile food and energy prices, remained unchanged at 2.2%. Analysts had predicted a high of Yuga of 2.3%. As we can see, while the US dollar is trying to resist the strengthening in the yen and the euro's out response to the fresh economic data, spot gold is gradually rising in value. And today its bullish scenario is developing within the range of 2331 to 2356 dollars per three ends. At the same time, crude oil, on the contrary, is becoming cheaper. After all, the overall growth in the oil prices was fueled by threats of expanding conflict in the Middle East. So, news of a possible ceasefire in the hotspot has also eased concerns about supply constraints. As a result, benchmark brand futures fell in the early US session to to the lower border of the intradecada of 88.2 to 89.3. Over the past week, oil prices have jumped by more than 2%. It's an accelerated fall on a Monday due to a decrease in geopolitical risks suggested that oil prices react primarily to the political news. You have watched a market review by InstaForex analyst for Monday, April 29. Subscribe to InstaForex TV channel and we keep you updated on all market developments. Feel free to ask any questions and leave your comments. I'll see you online tomorrow.